understand it, but I can't condone it. To my dying breath, I'll say, please don't do it. At the moment, I respect you and love you. We want you to have the freedom that we have. But as soon as you kill, you're a guilty murderer. How do I support a murderer? It's easier to talk to an oppressor than it is to talk to a murderer. And so therefore, I, I do not want blood on my hands. I don't want the blood on my hands. I'd rather have my conscience clear to fight the evil the way we're meant to fight it, which is to eradicate the evil, not the legislated apartheid. We have apartheid in this country. Otherwise, we wouldn't have ghettos. Otherwise, we wouldn't have black and white areas. While many, especially sportsmen, feel they can no longer visit South Africa, Cliff Richard and other stars such as Frank Sinatra and Shirley Bassey feel no such inhibitions. UN blacklists don't worry them, nor do hostile and violent demonstrations. Cliff Richard has just given a charity concert there in Botswana, the so-called independent homeland where the repressive laws of apartheid do not apply. He went to Sun City, the Las Vegas of the Veldt, as it's known, to perform in a multi-million pound pleasure complex put up for South African tourists. Philip Hayton went with him. Cliff Richard is no stranger to South Africa. He's been coming here for 10 years. He's not deterred by a United Nations resolution condemning visits like this, and the prospect of being put on a UN blacklist does not bother him either. Cliff Richard's concert venue on this trip is Sun City, a glittering entertainment complex set in the bush felt of the poverty-stricken territory of Baputitswana. South Africa says it's an independent state. The rest of the world regards it as no more than a part of South Africa set aside for black rule under the apartheid system. Sun City has been nicknamed Sin City because it purveys pleasures forbidden to South Africans at home. The hotel's foyer has been built around ranks of one-armed bandits. The races gamble together, eat and drink together, dance and even go to bed together. All practices which could lead to police arrest elsewhere in South Africa. We watched Cliff Richard rehearse a charity show for a multiracial audience, which turned out to be overwhelmingly white. Cliff Richard describes apartheid as evil and says he would be prepared to join an effective boycott of South Africa. Meanwhile, he sees nothing wrong in working in South Africa. There are two ways of looking at it. One can boycott. Of course, that's a valid way of doing it. But one can also come and woo. And I feel that my role is more in the wooing role. I'm not a political type of animal. And uh, I feel that one Indian lady came up to me in Durban and she said, uh, this was about two years ago, she said, on behalf of my people, I really want to thank you for coming here. And I was very touched and I said, well, why? She said, because every time you do a concert, you create racial harmony for those, that short period of time. And it, it's a drop in the bucket, I realize that, you know, but some of us aren't meant to be politicians. Some of us meant to, are meant to draw people together. And that's what I try to do. Cliff Richard is not the only entertainer at Sun City who draws people together. Black and white showgirls flutter about the stage, much to the enjoyment of the black and white audience. For a dazzling few hours, South African whites conveniently forget about the apartheid doctrine they practice every day. Black South Africans who oppose visits by entertainers like Cliff Richard say that it's a nice but naive idea to suggest that a few hours of multiracial harmony at a show can change anything. They say that visits by international stars do more to boost white morale than erode apartheid. They argue that many years of cultural contact between South Africa and the world has left apartheid firmly intact and more ruthlessly enforced than ever. Not far from Sun City is Winterfelt the ramshackle home of about half a million people. It was created by South Africa's apartheid laws, which have uprooted around two million black South Africans from white designated areas. Black leaders ask whether entertainers like Cliff Richard would keep visiting South Africa if they'd seen places like this. Philip Hayton, BBC, Winterfelt, South Africa. We're almost getting to the situation where they're talking about no-go areas for white policemen. We have apartheid, it's just not legislated. So we've got to fight it here too, without violence. Somehow, 
I'm so thrilled. I believe an Asian has moved in about two doors away from me. And I thought, where, where I live, and here we come.